Okay, so I thought uh, Ricardo already present in a deep scenario. Uh, I saw colleagues uh, here get a little bit uh, boring. I understand that issue. Uh, that issue is not necessary for all of us, but we are all of us librarian. And our role is very useful in order to focus and uh, adjust some infrastructures needed in order to create not only our institutional repositories. Um, Ricardo talked um, in order to create something bigger, our national repository. That is an opinion occurred uh, yesterday when we have uh, the meeting with other stakeholders here in our library. Uh, our uh, island. Um, I mentioned also on the audience uh, Lida from the uh, Cyprus uh, funding organization, institution, sorry. Uh, so I would like to start not to present, and I promise it will be a relaxed presentation from my own. I will show you pictures, videos. So uh, I would like to discuss with yours something that I heard yesterday when I returned from uh, the University of Cyprus to my office at the Open University, of course. Um, I heard on the radio, listening, I used to listening uh, from car radio news. I heard that the Minister of, uh, uh, of Energy already have uh, presented the committee of the parliament uh, our new strategic plan regarding uh, our energy here in the Isla, regarding gas, petrol, etc. Uh, when I heard that, I said, all right, something uh, that occasionally made. So, but the most important for us is the second part of this new. That uh, the minister present the result, but he shows on the members of the parliament, especially the members present on the committee of parliament, regarding the future plans of the gas. And he said, already presents a research uh, created in a collaboration with the University of Cyprus. And that research, it was already knew it by the members of the parliament. So we talk about an open access research. That is an open access research. Some of us doesn't know that. It is not our responsibility in order to know that. But for the members of the parliament, they are always interested and they know about that. So it's something different if we talk about information information created by uh, researchers, and information just to told and show on TVs uh, on news. So let's start my presentation. That is a thing that I would like to discuss later, and I will try to create uh, some uh, questions, and I will try to create a brainstorming, which is our role, and this is my presentation now. So. Before focus on the open access, I would like yours in order to see the whole uh, era of knowledge. As mentioned it, uh, by OECD in 1997, the knowledge economy debates as such as the knowledge distribution power of the system as on its knowledge production power. This openness. It's in bold. The knowledge will provide uh, the impetus for the accelerating growth of knowledge uh, societies. So it has to be openness. What is an openness? Openness means an hybrid access. So if I know something, I have to uh, share with others, and I have the opportunity and the, the other, in other words, I have to, here I am. In other words, I have to share the knowledge, but I have to know what is the knowledge. 
This is, is our uh, role. If we talk for information literacy in other uh, meetings, that is the creation that I would like to implement today in order to think about the openness. And later, uh, some of us maybe will be available to discuss that issue. So focus on the openness. Later came the open access. Open access uh, era, and the initiative already um, displayed uh, all those uh, days, uh, those two days. Uh, and additionally, I would like to mention the free availability of information or resource on the public internet. Many of the presenters uh, pass from this uh, floor on this podium. Uh, they focus the availability via a, a specific uh, platforms. Additionally, open access given uh, via the public internet. And that is the reason I told before, Victoria, you lost, because I would like to focus on that. All right. So in few words, what is the open access? Open access is an online access at no charge to the user for, uh, for peer-reviewed uh, scientific uh, publication to research data. For publications, it's a specific uh, issue that uh, comes after a discussion to publish at open access. Um, and we focus not to be a patent, patent in something different. Because yesterday I already discussed with Ricardo uh, that uh, what about the patent? Nobody talk about patents. We all talk about the open access regarding um, research data occurred after the research. What happens with the uh, patents? And patents uh, are followed by some millions. So let's go on. I explain again my role in, is uh, to create a brainstorming. I'm not here as a presenter in order to present what is an open access and what is something other. And which is our role? The role uh, today we are all of, all of us uh, librarians in this room. So let's go a little bit upper. Publication era. Journalism, uh, journal story uh, exist before also the e-journals. They collect of paper journals, slow in a research cycle. Uh, the bound volumes of newspaper is stacks. The library pays subscriptions. Many of ours, uh, we are well known what doesn't mean subscription. It's not only the amount paid to the um, uh, publisher or the intermediate agent that uh, give us the conversional material of the journals, but journals have plenty of work behind of them created by librarians in order to catalog it, in order to place them on uh, shelves. So here, as a librarian, we have to focus the whole spirit regarding our specific topic, our subject. So let's go then to the electronic journals. Things seem to be a little more easier for us. Uh, a massive collection of e-journals. So if we have, um, I don't know specifically another numbers of uh, conventional uh, journals in the University of Cyprus Library, but I'm sure about the e-journals created by our consortium here in Cyprus. Uh, is more than uh, 30,000 and more, I'm not sure. So the massive, focus on massive. Uh, Mariana is here? Oh, all right. Uh, in order to correct me on the number of e journals, I'm not sure about that, but it's are more, much more instead of the conventional those placed and the shelving on the shelves of the University of Cyprus. Furthermore, simplification of the research process, literature is immediately available. So those things create and uh, make our uh, job easy and quickly, but also is the accessibility. So those two, two days we focus on the access 
and the accessibility and the openness of this accessibility. So, don't focus again on the subscriptions created by consortia. The problems surely are occurred and are remaining. And what about open access journals? Free access for all users, that is correct. Social responsibility behavior, full access to all. To all is an open access. But who can uh, access that uh, material if nobody explain him or her where is the material? Here we are. We are librarians. It's one uh, of our uh, responsibility and of our role, sure, to encourage and support the researchers go to the access uh, to the material specific. So after uh, the increase of the citations, uh, previous presenters already explained us by showing some uh, charts. It's not my role to focus on the citations of the publications. Uh, and the visibility of the scientific work. There, surely, as uh, librarians, we have plenty of um, uh, things to show to the researchers, and specific, not only uh, any research created by a scientific uh, work created. So, when I mentioned awards, if those words will be part of our brainstorming later. Uh, surely the APCs regarding the cost is already uh, lower instead, instead of the e-journals created by uh, providers. Open access types. Many of the presenters create what is the gold and what is the green. Doesn't matter numbers, doesn't matter dates. Let's see a picture. I believe now it will be more uh, clear for yours in order to understand what I mean. The root gold and the root green. It is uneasy. Uh, when we told about the gold, you can see it oh, now, uh, is the preferred method, is the best method in order to uh, publish to the open uh, access journals. The material uh, immediately uh, given to the researchers via an open access, but the works created on uh, behalf of the researchers by the publisher. On the other side, the green open access route is that the author, the creator, the holder of the intelligent um, uh, property of the material or the committee or the group of uh, guys uh, create that research. So, in order to clarify it and uh, be much easier for us to understand that issue, gold goes from publishers, green goes to the authors. That is easy. And the cost and the time is an issue that we have to discuss. Uh, we mentioned the six months, we mentioned the 12 uh, months. That is an issue uh, occurred not only by the authorities, and our role is not to uh, focus on that, but we are encouraged in order to be the less as it's possible. Uh, and I believe that is an issue that um, the University of Helsinki, when the diagram created, and I used it from them. Uh, let's go. We have openness. I would like to resume, and then we have to talk and make a brainstorming, I repeat. Uh, openness, journals, e-journals, open access journals, and the way goes to the researchers. Our role is to uh, forward the um, data, the information to our researchers. That is our role. How we do it is our role, and we have many of topics to discuss and uh, focus on that. Advocacy of open access. Support, in other words, open access. 
and we support. We are here today. And we have a two-day event regarding the open access. Uh, participation uh, in the creation of universities' open access policies. We are working for our open access policies. Uh, I believe that we are in a very good collaboration, not only the universities in between us, but with the other th authorities here in the island, helping with publishing in open access management of funds for financing open access publishing. Uh, and yesterday and today, I thought uh, that mentioning it twice that uh, University of Technology, Technological University of Cyprus, support by funding via the company Remetica, uh, the open access for their researchers. Additionally, helping the research data management. Ah, that is our role, how to manage. We know about that. We, we start, we thought about that, we try to manage those. We believe that we are in the middle of a discussion. We manage our internal repositories just only till now. So let's focus and create the brainstorming later. Andoni, I saw you, you are looking at me, and I have to discuss with you later, maybe. All right, copyrights and open access. We are friends with Tatianis in Odinu, and we will help us to create whatever is necessary for the copyrights. There are directives from open air and some um, pass there for open access, and we are, Lucky, let me explain. We are lucky that we have uh, the any in order to help on that. Management of university repository and ANSYS in depositing uh, sources. Those are all, those, I, remember, uh, I focus again, main topics of libraries is our role. So, uh, management the university's uh, repositories. We already done, uh, but how we done? if a uh, professor or a researcher would like to give us something of his research in order to add it to the repository? I'm not sure. It's another question for later. Um, promote the open access resources and management of collections. Cataloging. Yeah. That uh, uh, work is uh, very familiar here at the University of Cyprus. We are focused and we create uh, a common uh, LIS system, which is mentioned in you know, the cataloging. Why cataloging? Because cataloging create index, create a subject, create a ways for the researcher in order to find what he like or her like to find. So it's a necessity that we are uh, experts to do. Nobody else is more expert than us. Uh, that is my opinion, and uh, as a member of the uh, Kali's board, I have to focus on that. We are the only one who can cataloging, not as an indexing creator, cataloging by subject and cataloging uh, by a specific topic. So that is, is not a question, it's just a mentioning sentence. We are those that can create the material and um, cataloging the material in the open access uh, repositories. <laughs> Another one special topic, open access publishing assistance. Victoria asked uh, if we are ready to support our researchers in order to uh, post something, uh, post and create something via the Horizon 2020. Uh, I'm not sure if I, um, I was able to reply, so I get silent there. We are. I believe we are experts and we are well um, trained uh, guys and girls, and uh, maybe we are be ready, but we would like to have little more training, I believe. Educate academic uh, community and project managers. Surely we are able to educate the um, 
academic community. I don't know if we are ready for the project managers. It is easy for us to go educate and others outside of our organization. And here is our role. Practices. So that uh, now, now, now is the time for relaxing. Some others support the open access and create something that we are not uh, creating now and we are not able to do. Are you sure about that? So let's see if is that is a practice. So, no. All right, all right, all right. It's a relaxing time. Don't get anxious. I would like yours to see if is that they show in this video is a practice at the beginning. It's just to start, I forgot it to re uh, open it in advance in order to be ready. Doesn't matter, we have plenty of time since the sunset, isn't Sorry, 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 sorry. All right. Το συνέας ερευνητής και προσπαθεί να προωθήσει το δημοσίευμα του το τελευταίο. Αν δείτε στη φανέλα το έχει και το τόι. So that researcher try to promote his recent article. Imagine outside Dissatisfied of the... Dissatisfied with your citation score? Would you like more people to read your papers? So that is not truly there are plenty of ways to attract right attention way. to your papers. Why not start with one that actually works? actually works. Make your work freely available online by publishing open access papers. Studies have shown that open access publication increases the amount of citations by up to 600 percent. With open access, researchers from all over the world can easily read your work. This includes researchers who do not have the resources to pay for access to the journals in which you publish as well as everyone else who may be interested in the newest findings in your field. So, how does open access work? Luckily, oh. there is a very easy solution. You can add your work to the RADBAD repository. It's a free, effective, and easy solution for open access publication. All you have to do is let the experts from the university library have a look at your papers. They will check your author rights to find the best open access solution for each of your papers. For more information and to start publishing, go to www.ruforopenaccess.nl. Get your work out in the open with open access. And if I mention where is placed that university? It's a work from a professor and librarians, that I mentioned. So, let's go to the other. Sorry. A small video of uh, 48 uh, seconds is enough to promote our services. I believe that is an easy way to encourage the open access also in our universities. So. 
this is just 48 seconds video. Are you a research? Are you a student? Innovator? Queers? Sorry. Let's start from the beginning. just to show that um, a 48 second video is enough in order to encourage the open access. That video can uh, upload it on our web pages. Why not? I don't try it again to make it full text, uh, full uh, screen. That is the promoting video created the previous year for the week of open access. How many of ours we uploaded on our web page? We can do it, why not? Maybe in 2016. Let's go a little bigger video. Uh, can I mean it the introductory video to support our library efforts for the open access? Let's see again. Imagine that all of the world's information was available to you for free, online, and unrestricted. You wouldn't have to spend so much money on textbooks and course packs. You would always be able to access that perfect article for your research without worrying whether or not the library has a subscription or waiting for interlibrary loan. You could build on that information through reuse and mashups without worrying about copyright restrictions. This is what open access is all about, making scholarly information widely available to everyone online at no cost to you. Open access empowers you to demand access to the information you need to receive a quality education. Open access also ensures that researchers can share their knowledge and have access to the most current research in their field. Open access to scholarly information makes it a better world for everyone. For more information, visit the Right to Research Coalition. Thank you for taking a library minute. We're working with you you to unlock access to the information of the world. Why not to call it our library one minute promoting video for open access? I remind that my role is to create uh, some questions in order to finalize our brainstorming in the end. Uh, why not to support an existing video by open access supporters publishers? They are commercial publishers. They focus on their why revenues. Open access? Because my libraries want it for their end user. Because it allows authors to get research everywhere. Because open access is the future, and we know that. Because everyone in the world interested in that specific topic has access to their article immediately. As long as they have an internet connection, people have access to that the research we publish. That occurred before I create the... It's that simple. The hyperlinks with uh, Internet Explorer and Dungeon no supporting well, this open piece. Open access serves as this platform where individuals can come together and they can identify. Sorry. Let me close in order to reopen the last one. Doesn't matter. Let's try again. That is a commercial. Why I, I explain again. Because my libraries want it for their end user. Because it allows authors to get research everywhere. Because open access is the future, and we know that. Because everyone 
in the world interested in that specific topic has access to their article immediately. As long as they have an internet connection, people have access to the research we publish. It's that simple. That, that well, local access serves as this platform where individuals can come together and they can... That logo shows also now our pens. It's from Biomed. Identify with what open access is, whether they're young scientists, researchers, um, librarians, the society executives that encourage them. It's a communication tool, so we have our website, and that we video have social media, by Springer. email campaigns. But under One the name I Open most Access, famous and we will reach out to commercial publishers. every stakeholder in the public and we'll let them know that they can come to this resource and get all the information they need for their funding. They can springboard off of our website and go right onto BMC's newly updated institutional policies database or funder mandates database. Here and in there they can find the all the information that they need that applies to them. Universities here in our islands, we are subscribers to Biomed and we support the open access. in order to not get boring by watching only videos. Uh, I believe it is more uh, pleasure for yours to see videos instead of see statistics. I'm sure about that. And let's uh, go to see the last one. When Harvard libraries support open access, why not our libraries? It's another question given by the answer via a video again. Is the last, be patient. Those are replies from researchers. doesn't need it to be something more uh, specific in order to create a video. It's just some words with a, a music and created by Harvard Dash Repository. And I would like to focus on the last slide of the video, which is that. Why not to be University of Cyprus Library or Open University of uh, Technology or University Library Office for responsible for the repository? Or just only the library. What does Harvard already create? Some words passing in our uh, eyes, uh, accommodated with uh, music. Is something easy? If we ask Panos from the University of Cyprus to create that, it's an issue of uh, 10 minutes. I'm not sure if it's more or less, but not more of 15. So let's go on with my presentation. Those are some ideas that I would like to focus and discuss whenever we want. We have um, the availability of the time. Not today, Sylvia, don't argue. Uh, instead to create our national library, uh, repository. All right. What we do, or create here in Cyprus? We do things for open access here in Cyprus. We support the open access, the first issue. Libraries annual organized event for open access. Technological University, University of Cyprus, with the support of our association, Kevep, Kalis, all over the year, we offer the researchers uh, for the academic institutions the opportunity to publish uh, their data sets via institutional repositories. 
Open University, Technological University of Cyprus, and something new is coming. We support and manage the metadata created via our repositories. Here is our specific role. We are the managers, not the manager, the subject top, the specific uh, area of um, uh, information scientists with manage the metadata created by the repositories. Repositories belongs to libraries. We call them institutional. Who is managed the metadata? As an example, already mentioned it that uh, UCY libraries support open air as a national desk office. Technological University of Cyprus library ensures the funding of the open access of its institutional researchers. Is that that I mentioned before regarding the Remedica. The Open University of Cyprus promised uh, try support uh, on any infrastructures needed in order to support the host of the national repository. That is a discussion placed again in the table yesterday. And we have to discuss with all other um, partners in this idea and maybe we'll be ready in the next year's uh, meeting regarding the open access to show and present the national repository. We are working all together to implement our national policy. As already Victoria mentioned uh, many times today and yesterday, uh, all the stakeholders and the universities, uh, librarians, uh, we are working and we are in the middle of the implementation, I believe, till the end of uh, this year, we will finalize our national policy. And then, the last, but the, uh, but the most important, we collaborate, support, and encourage all stakeholders uh, of open access in our island. It's our role. It's our role. So, uh, I believe that we create things, already well-known uh, repositories in the island, is um, from the Open University, from the Technological University, and uh, the last but not worst, the University of Cyprus. Why don't you argue, Mr. Kugunidu? Ms. Kugunidu, sorry. Future steps. Finalized our national policy for the open access. Additionally, we support other academic and not only institutions to establish uh, their repositories. Already, some private uh, universities and more important, the, um, the authorities uh, responsible for the funding opportunities uh, and uh, the, how we call it, uh, funding uh, pro program authority funding authority. They are planning to be part of the national uh, repository. Uh, so if we create that, we support the researcher to publish at open uh, access journals. Repository with not any me metadata is not a repository. It's just a shelf, but in electronic format. So arrange seminars from librarians. Why not? We are available to support and create um, seminars, special um, seminars created by librarians. And I thought it was a month before here at uh, the University of Cyprus, uh, a representative from uh, IEEE uh, presents uh, some access given by the libraries specified also in patents. It's a little bit similar, it's not exactly the same, but it's also patents a product that we manage. Additionally, uh, search for funding opportunities to support open access. If technological university success on that, why not the others? Why not? We can try all together, but 
in a collaboration with all the previews. I mentioned twice the collaboration and this is the final word that I would like to mention later. Promote the existing effort and success. We already create something. We have something to show to our users and researchers. And finally, strengthen more the collaboration and enlargement with private and commercial stakeholders. Research in Cyprus is not created only by the universities, but from others, private, commercial stakeholders. They create a research and get awards from the EU, but nobody presents that results of the research somewhere. Why not to be the national repository? And finally, I would like to thank, this is my card, everyone can use it in order to collaborate with me, but I mentioned many times that we would like to have a brainstorming. I don't know if there, <laughs> I don't know if there is any discussion. Uh, mention it just only of the openness and the collaboration. It's our role, again I mentioned that, uh, to collect all the stakeholders in the, in the decision is not just only a decision. The decision is to collaborate. If we co collaborate, we can create many things. So we used to support the open access. We used to manage our repositories, which is the next step. National policy, national repository, and all of us to support it. Those three words is the meaning and the final, I, and the final uh, sentences for my presentation. It's not a presentation. It's, it's a, it, I was trying to create a brainstorming. The stakeholders and the heads of the libraries already collaborate. Where is the others? Where are our librarians? Our librarians implement those that they decide the K the stakeholders that they make the decision. So thanks a lot for your time, and I apologize if I was boring.